Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, back with another video today. Today's video is going to be about advice that I would want to give to teens who are maybe just starting out in the gym or who've only been in the gym for a short amount of time and basically give you advice on the things that I've learnt um, and things I'd say maybe not to do when starting out in the gym. So the first point today is take your time. Um, by what I mean by this is that uh, somebody's uh, starting point of years will be different and the main thing I want you to like think about is that nobody will be the same as you starting off and therefore like your uh, chapter one might be somebody else's chapter 20 and because of this take your time in the gym and don't be concerned about uh, trying to beat others in the gym or look as big as somebody else because especially when you're starting off in the gym um, you'll find it very easy to build muscle and if you try and push yourself too hard to try and lift heavier weights to try and be the same as maybe your mate or something then there's a more likely chance you could cause yourself risk um, in injuring yourself due to the fact that you might not be able to lift this and somebody else might be able to. And so therefore, from this, you need to make sure that you're lifting weights that are um, right for you or the right weight for you and that you're not going to then, um, you know, injure yourself by lifting something that's too heavy. The main thing to remember is you will grow extremely quickly at the start due to your being introduced to new stimulus. So your muscles have a reason to grow at a rapid rate compared to somebody who's been in the gym for like five or six years. The next point I want to talk about is making sure that you're consistent in the gym. Um, the main thing that I found is that there was points where I was uh, going to the gym and making really good progress and then I'd maybe go away on holiday or something and then coming back from it I wouldn't be as motivated to go into the gym and I'd prefer to be lazy so the main thing is, is try to be continuously consistent in gym doing so you're going to then be able to have the best progress possible for putting on the most amount of muscle when you're in that starting phase because if you do so then you're more likely going to get bigger and stronger and from this you will look better than what you would be if you were just going to the gym maybe say once a week or uh, once every other week or three times one week and it'd just be all over the place so it'd be best to stay consistent and try and follow some sort of routine because that's going to be the best way to maximize muscle growth so having a routine gym and having a plan this means you're going to have you know a day set out that you're going to do either upper lower leg, legs or push or pull session and you're not just going to be going in and just jumping on all sorts of equipment just not knowing what you're going to do so the best thing to do would maybe research different uh, training plans and then put something together that's going to suit you best um, as well as that, when once you find a plan, do not be changing every other week or so. Stick to those days. So, for example, you could do legs on Monday, push on a Tuesday, and pull on a Wednesday, and then take a day off, and then do it again. Um, and a bit of advice I'd also give is don't go to the gym any more than five days a week so you give your body time to rest and recover um, because you're just new to the gym. Um, or if you're not in the gym that often, then your body will be able to recover better and you'll be able to perform better in your sessions. So, um, yeah, the main thing would be to not definitely not gym hop because by doing so, you're going to then um, reduce the amount of muscle that you'll be able to grow because your body's not sure what it should be doing if you're changing up all the time. So for me, for example, um, for my first year in the gym, I was just following a five day split of legs, push, pull and then upper lower and sometimes I would have changed the leg push pull uh, push pull um, but apart from that I more or less follow the same plan um, for now anyway at least 12 weeks before I even think of changing up uh, throughout the year. So my next bit of advice uh, is to enjoy yourself uh, don't get caught up in counting macros and like trying to stick to a dad all the time so for example there would have been times in the past where like I would have been invited out with friends whatever for some food and I would have said no because I was focusing on trying to lose a bit of weight and from this then you know I was left out of my friend groups and at the time I thought it was really weird if I would have brought like food with me so I just thought it would be better to uh, stay at home and just not go out but the main thing that I learned and what to focus on was that there's so many ways that you can manipulate your macros throughout the weeks so that you can go out and enjoy with your friends and even on that as well you shouldn't be um you know so uptight with your macros you know if your friends have invited you out on like say a friday night to go out for a meal or something then go out with them because you know um if you go up if you when you grow up 
to be older or whatever then that's possibly a time that you'll want to focus on your macros more especially if you're looking to dad for a show or something but um yeah enjoy yourself and just focus on having a good time because at the end of the day if you're just caught up in macros all the time then you're just not going to enjoy being in the gym and then there's no point if you're not enjoying the gym then to be going so a question i've been asked a lot by people who have been starting in the gym is like how to lose weight and the main thing is if you're starting off new in the gym the best thing to do would be to actually bulk up because this is then going to help you have a better um physique looking and you'll have more muscle on your frame than you are from just sitting there with nothing trying to grow muscle as you're using more of that fat for more energy so therefore you can then you know produce more force in your lifts and therefore uh, maximize muscle growth and because of that then you'll find it easier to like fill out if you have a bit of a bigger frame starting off um if you have been bulking whereas unless you're extremely obese um or obese uh, there's no reason to be cutting um just because you're just going to be hindering them your progress in the gym overall then uh just to add on to bulking as well the main thing i would say is do not dirty bulk and you know you might think it's the best thing oh yeah i can just go and have a mcdonald's or i can just go and eat fast food all the time that's the best way to put on um weight or whatever but the thing is though you're gonna um be carrying around more fat that you need and then it's not going to be the healthiest thing to do and on top of that as well if you're uh, putting on a serious amount of size very quickly it's going to potentially lead you having a lot more stretch marks which for some people can be a factor that leads to them being self-conscious about their body and obviously here i'm trying to promote uh, people being confident and you know looking the best they can and providing you know information for you to look the best but um if you're dirty bulking then you're leaving yourself in the opportunity of having stretch marks and i know from personal experience um about having stretch marks uh, just from dirty bulking and just uh, just putting on too much fat too quickly and um, for people that are especially getting in the gym or just starting off uh, one of my tips would be to focus on using the resistance machines in the gym just until your body starts to get used to just extra load on your body that it wouldn't have been used to before and then when you progress the next bit um, to start potentially using some free weights um, I would advise firstly um, to focus on compound movements such as your bench, your squat and your deadlift, things like that there before you'd move on to isolation exercises because there's plenty of resistance machines that will allow you to focus on certain parts of your muscle um but there's uh, and there's less chance of injury again um just until your body um you know learns how to like cope under certain stresses before you move on to something like a bicep curl um with a barbell uh, with a dumbbell which you might not be used to or your body's not used to and therefore um maybe cause an injury to yourself so i would definitely say so when starting off in the gym use resistant machines and then progress on the compound movements before moving on to isolation exercises um for example you can uh, do even if you wanted uh, with um dumbbells like a bench press and if you didn't want to use the barbells so there's many different exercises and things that you can do in the gym for manipulation of compound movements but definitely for the first two months or so while so using free weights definitely only you do compound movements before moving on to isolation exercises one of the major things that people do when they go into the gym is try and lift as heavy as they can so that they can impress their mates if they're with them anyway and one of the major things I would say when you're starting off either lift by yourself or with a family member as they're going to keep you in check and prevent you from ego lifting and the problem with ego lifting is yes you're going to maybe look good um, lifting a heavier weight but the thing is though if you don't have the correct form when lifting it there is a, such a high chance that you're going to injure yourself and if you are to injure yourself like I've done then you're going to be out for maybe uh, two three months with an injury uh, for, for, my, for example like I tried to do a deadlift and I tried to ego lift and as a result I ended up uh, doing the ligaments in my back and from this I was I couldn't move properly or I couldn't even walk properly and as a result I was out for the next eight weeks lying in my bed and hardly being able to move properly and just not do 
um, daily exercises, like for example, walking then became a big struggle for me. The main thing that I want you to take away from this is just focus on lifting weights that you can lift and making sure that you're getting the best uh, contraction on the muscle possible and just not focusing on about numbers. The mistake that I made when I first started going to the gym was focus on specific body parts and to grow them quicker than other parts. And the thing that I'd say is this is yes, obviously they will end up growing quicker, but the thing is then your body will look out of proportion. So advice, my advice to you would be to make sure that you train everything. Like to be fair with myself, my background is doing running and sprinting. So I was able to build up stronger legs quicker and bigger legs. Um, but then the thing was though for maybe the first year and a bit in the gym, I neglected them. And as a result, they actually started getting smaller and uh, they weren't as strong as what they could have been and now i'm kind of paying the price for it as i'm having to work harder in the gym to try and get them up to where i want them to be when i first started going to the gym as well um i used to read up all loads of articles saying that you know uh when you first start lift or when you finish lifting you've got like a half an hour window to get your protein in before like your gains aren't worth it so i would have always been drinking like a protein shake or a protein brownie after the gym and the thing is this is not the case there's been studies showing that protein, um, if you were to have it an hour later or 20 minutes later, there's no correlation or difference between about how much growth your muscles would get from that. But the main thing is, is you want to focus on making sure that you're getting a higher protein meal in after your gym session. So if you were to say, you know, go to the gym at 11 o'clock in the morning and for your lunch, you might want to take a higher protein meal just to help your muscles recover better uh, from your training session. The main thing is you want to make sure that you're getting hitting your protein goal for the day as this is going to give you the best chance for optimal muscle growth. Um, so there's, there's definitely no reason to be getting caught up in making sure that you're getting um, a big whack of protein in here once you finish the gym because it, it's just not going to make a difference really and I kind of wish I'd known that earlier because then um, I wouldn't have been trying to like like stuff myself full of protein um, with the protein cookies or whatever straight after the gym um, so I didn't enjoy it as much as if I was sitting down when I got home to eat it. My final tip for today is going to be um, record your progress um, so you can look back and see your progress yourself. One of the main things that I find at the start is at the start is that I felt that I wasn't growing and I every time I looked at myself I didn't see any difference or changes and for me the main thing that I was told or was suggested was to record and measure myself and in doing so it gave me the opportunity to then um you know look back once a year or every six months to see my progress that I've been making and just looking back at those numbers every once in a while um, just gives me that extra motivation just to keep pushing through um, you know as I'm continuously growing and it, it then it just shows for me as well that I am still doing the right things and as a result then it's just every once in a while when I look at the numbers and um, they're always going up and that's the most important thing that you want to make sure of as well so anyway that's going to be the end of today's video um, I do I hope you can take something away from this uh, to help yourselves progress in the gym that bit more and maybe just um get rid of something that you might have believed for example like the protein or something and yeah just to get the best progress possible in the gym for now that's going to be the end of today's video i do hope you enjoyed so please uh like and subscribe um if you did enjoy the video please be sure to share it with your friends as i'm really appreciating the support that i'm getting at the moment so anyway until next time um goodbye